Americans have news fatigue, but does that mean they're tired of politics? Hey, everybody, I'm Chad Hasty, host of the Chad Hasty Show, which airs weekday mornings, 8.30 to 11 a.m. Central Time on News Talk 95.1 FM and 7.90 a.m. KFY. You know, the Pew Research Center did a uh, few uh, different questions directed at Americans regarding their news consumption. Yahoo News with the story, Americans becoming increasingly exhausted by the avalanche of news, even more so during the uh, even more so than during the 2016 presidential election a survey showed on Tuesday 68% of respondents feel quote worn out <laughs> by the amount of news they are seeing compared with only 30% who say they like the amount of information they get the percentage suffering from information overload is higher than 59% in a similar survey done during the 2016 election more republicans actually uh, than democrats expressed feelings of news exhaustion and levels were higher among those with unfavorable views of the media the survey of over 5000 adults conducted uh, february February 22nd through March 4th found that 77% of Republicans and Republican-leaning independents expressed feelings of exhaustion compared with only 61% of Democrats and Democratic-leaning independents. Well, obviously, we're going to talk about this on the show uh, quite a bit on uh, Wednesday. And, you know, when I'm looking at this story and looking at this poll, one of the questions that I that I that I come up with in my head is, okay, does this mean that people are tired of politics? And the answer is, of course, no, of course not. Go and look at your Facebook feed right now if you want to. If you uh, don't believe me, see how many people are posting about politics. See how many people are posting uh, on Twitter, on Facebook, and other social media platforms. See how many people are talking about politics when you go out at night. Uh, people aren't tired of politics, but they are tired of the beatdown from the news media. And I have to say, even though I'm a talk show host, I read this stuff all the time. I don't blame people who are exhausted. I don't think it's the I don't think it's that people are exhausted from news or uh, the information they're getting. I think it's the type of information that people are getting, uh, and especially among Republicans, the constant anti-Trump fever that is out there from the news media, the constant beat down from the media. Now, listen, Trump, I, I will say this, Trump does step in it from time to time, but the uh, consistent beat down that you almost get from the media uh, that Trump colluded when there is no proof of collusion with Russia, uh, the Stormy Daniels crap, uh, the, the uh, news that is always out there that is anti-Trump, 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 anti-Republican, anti-conservative, how can you not be exhausted uh, with all of that? And for the Democrats, yeah, I can kind of see where maybe you're exhausted too because all you see is headlines about Trump. It, it's the fact that we, we don't get any positive news uh, from the media anymore, right? Uh, even though there is positive news, you kind of have to dig a little bit deep or do a little bit of your own research in order to find that news. You don't hear a lot about the, the positive aspects that are going on in America. Uh, just today, the Wall Street Journal with a piece out that uh, for the first time in uh, in years, there are more job openings than jobless Americans, uh, which means, hey, if you want to work, guess what? And you can work. There's a job opening for you. There are more job openings now than those who are jobless. That's great news. Unemployment is lower now than it has been in years. Uh, you know, uh, uh, salaries are going up. People are feeling better about their job security. People have more money in their bank accounts. These are all good things, but it's being drowned out by the anti-Trump media that just wants to tell you about how evil and mean and racist and bigoted and, oh yeah, Trump colluded with the Russians, even though we've been saying that for two years and we still have not had any proof of any of that. Uh, I think people are exhausted by it, but they're exhausted from the beatdown they, that they, they cons uh, consistently get from the media. That's why on my show, I, I want to make things fun. I want to make the show fun and, and have fun with everything. Uh, and yeah, bring a little bit of humor into it and not make it a beatdown. 
there are some shows uh, that I think want to be a beat down for people or, you know, people tune in and they are beaten down by it. That's not what I want my show to be about. I want to have fun and talk about some of the, uh, you know, good news that's out there, but also some of the news that, you know, the media is not going to focus on 24-7. Uh, you know, listen, we've got, uh, you know, just a, a, a huge number. You know, you've got the, the three big ones, Fox, CNN, MSNBC, but you have other 24-hour news sources that are out there and they're always trying to find news in the main news that that leads is the bad stuff, the bad information. You look at Melania Trump. You had how many different headlines, conspiracy theories about Melania Trump. Uh, there was one Rolling Stone writer uh, who uh, wrote a piece about how maybe she's being abused and that's why she's not in the public eye. A woman just had surgery. She's taking it easy and the media runs with conspiracy theories. Yeah, I don't blame people for being exhausted from the media. I understand it. Here's uh, a couple of suggestions if you are uh, getting sick and tired of the media. It's real simple. Uh, this thing right here, it's a remote. Bam, you turn off the television, okay? Don't watch Fox News 24-7. Don't watch CNN 24-7. Don't watch MSNBC 24-7. Obviously, listen to KFYO and listen to my show. Uh, but the news media, stop watching all the time. You know, one of the things that I keep seeing on social media are people who consistently post about politics. They post about politics and political news and com uh, political uh, opinion 24-7 uh, on Twitter and on Facebook and other social media platforms. Me, I have my own personal rule where over the weekend, I don't tweet unless it's a big story. I don't tweet about politics. I, I just, I, or at least I, I try not to. Uh, tweet about politics. I don't, I, I just don't. I still pay attention, but I don't tweet about politics. I try not to get too involved in politics, uh, even on Facebook uh, over the weekend or, you know, really anytime because Facebook now is more about mom and dad and grandma and grandpa and all, you know, posting your uh, family photos and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but but get away from it. Take a break. Unplug every now and then, uh, and you'll be very, very happy, I think. And especially over the weekends, take time to get away from the politics of the day. Don't get involved in Twitter debates over the weekend. You know, post about, uh, you know, sports or, you know, get involved in some other stuff. But uh, seriously, for all those who post, you know, all the time about politics... Man, it's exhaustive just reading uh, some of those tweets. Tune in to the Chad Hasty Show weekday mornings, 8.30 to 11 a.m. Central Time. News Talk 95.1 FM, 790 AM KFYO. Have a great day.